And this is a personal opinion, but there's nothing finer than being able to walk and see a dog hit scent, either lock on point, spin into a point, however they do, and freeze. And, and know that that's instinct in him is to freeze on his game. Yeah, we've wool broke him, we've told them not to take steps or taught them to do so, but that instinct to smell their dog and to, it's like the prey drive, to see them pointed, if it's in the grouse woods, if it's on the prairies in North Dakota, if it's on the edge in Missouri or wherever we may be, that instinct comes through and it just, it, it has, I don't know how it can't put a smile on your face. You know, every single dog, if it's got a nine o'clock tail, a 12 o'clock tail, flagging or not, but for them to do what they're bred to do, it, it, it's just amazing and it's a passion of mine and I remember having my interview for Perina and I use that word over and over. It's a passion that I have and it is because I mean I could put a dog out in the dirt road and see him spin into a find and I would just smile. Part of my role with Confluence and Prairie Wildlife is the partnerships. So this weekend we were very fortunate to have some team guys from Purina in. So Carl Gunzer, which runs the team on the outdoor space, and his upland bird guy, Greg Blair, here. Here, here we go. Well, you know, dogs uh, just have a way of connecting with people. You know, people and pets are, you know, Purina always says people and pets are better together, but I mean, I think anybody that has a dog would admit that they contribute, you know, to your overall happiness and, and life. So I think when you start training dogs and competing with dogs, it just uh, becomes very fulfill fulfilling. So um, I think um, that was my initial you know, work with dogs and then getting the chance to work for Purina and help support all the dog events and different sports that I love um, has been great. So Carl, what, what percentage of the serious competition bird dog guys are feeding pro plan today? 60 to 80 percent. 
Well, there's too much at stake, right? I mean, the money that you spend on trailers and dogs and grounds and all that, um, horses, I mean, you know, to, to not spend that extra 20 cents in a bowl of food is crazy, you know? Good. Good shot, Greg. The Halise course was fun. That is challenging. I, I, I compared it to golf because I love golf, but I'm not a golfer. Um, I love to hunt, but I'm not a great shot. So that is challenging. That's a new game that I've never tried before. It's no, I've never even seen it or heard it before. So to actually be, it's very humbling. You know, really challenging. I think it's more like um, wing shooting than anything else. You know, it's not a game where um, you learn that, you know, you have a four foot lead on a high house, you know, crossing route or whatever. It's every shot is unique. Um, it changes, you know, and it can change day to day with different winds, with all that. So it was really uh, a lot of fun and felt more like, you know, what you would see in the field. The help, I mean, that last round that I shot, I think I hit three out of five, but it was because a gun didn't actually fit me better than the one I shot the last four rounds. Then when you go to it, go smooth, go at snail speed. When you get there, pull the trigger. You running past that bird, then you're trying to come back, and that's a lot. Oh. Better. It, it, they help a lot, but that, that's a humbling game <laughs> that I didn't even know existed. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. Everything from you know the quail habitat, the facilities, the expansion, the dog new dog kennels, um, it's definitely first class. And what they have for their goal and what they want it to be is evident in how they're taking these steps to produce that. The quail hunting this morning was close to unbelievable. Um, you know, great dog work, um, putting birds in front of the gun, excellent retrieving. I don't think we lost a bird that we shot. So their focus to be the best. All, all around from facilities to habitat is, is very evident.